December 12, 2000. More than a month after the votes are cast, Americans finally know who their next president will be. Republican George W. Bush becomes president-elect after a divided U.S. Supreme Court effectively election. halts recounts in Florida's contested presidential vote tally. Democrat Al Gore, who briefly conceded to Bush back on election night until the race became just too close to call. Just moments ago, I spoke with George W. Bush and congratulated him on becoming the 43rd president of the United States. And I promised him that I wouldn't call him back this time. I offered to meet with him as soon as possible so that we can start to heal the divisions of the campaign and the contest through which we've just passed. Bush promises to live up to his campaign pledge of being a uniter, not a divider, in the White House. I was not elected to serve one party, but to serve one nation. The President of the United States is the President of every single American, of every race, and every background. Whether you voted for me or not, I will do my best to serve your interests, and I will work to earn your respect. While more Americans voted for Gore, the high court's ruling gives Bush the edge in the electoral college that actually picks the president. More than a month later, Bush takes office as the second son of a president to serve in the White House himself. Today in History, December 12th, Ed Donahue, The Associated Press.